Good evening, good morning, wherever you are in the world. This is Farmer Eddie coming to you again from my garden. Today I'm going to talk about squash. Squash, butternut squash to be specific. You can see here the little butternut squashes. I got three of them I covered with the tool they call it tool t-u-l-l-e -L -L -E, and it really works i'm telling you it does a great job when it comes to protecting them from worms that would bore their way through and eventually kill them you know destroy uh, the fruit so you can see how small they are put my finger there so you can see the you could uh use my finger as a gauge to see how small they are see that there my finger there right there there it is there it is covered it with a tool to protect them to see which one is going to come you know one or two may dry up but when it comes it comes all right you see i covered the uh the last of the sugar baby watermelons see him right here my hands are right on him there sugar baby watermelon and they're doing well no holes they try to you know um, hopefully i'm protecting them i'm seeing a little some some there but it doesn't look like it's wet so that's just the way it is okay that's the other side that's just the tip I'm getting nice and big now you see that but going back to the so i got three forgive me forgive me i got three one two three more sugar baby uh watermelons coming up you now you can look at the other uh squashes see this one here is covered with tool again and if i didn't do this if i didn't cover it with tool what would happen is naturally they would be it would never get this big and you'd see holes on them all around and truly they would be no good then i have to use it for compost i don't waste anything i use it for compost yes so you see this check it out my hands is holding it there good size right uh let's see how long one and a half fingers long yeah one and a half fingers long almost two you see uh this one here is even bigger this is the butternut squash as i told you all right almost two fingers long nice and big they're able to grow big enough big in fact so i'm waiting for them to get big enough so i can pick them and put them to dry here's another one see how beautiful this is this is two fingers long for sure see or more a little more than two fingers long nice little one coming up on the side here got two more there that's covered a few days ago see them there they're all right they're coming up they're coming up see i got them all you can see the red spots in the between the green i'm using a tool virtually for everything and uh, they're getting nice and huge huge no i put a tool on uh, the cantaloupe a little plate below so far so good okay uh make sure there are no holes uh, hopefully a little spot there i don't believe if that is a Tell you some these 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 insects are persistent. They really are. I just hope that that isn't. It looks like a hole though. Man, what can you do? You try your best to save them. But these animals, these insects, these worms. More kind of covered kind of cantaloupes again. These ins, you know the the garden is dying down now. See a lot of bushes are growing, but I gotta pick the let the fruits grow and then I'll deal with the bushes eventually. All the see how beautiful this here. It's the two of them growing together. But let me tell you something, man. You know what happened? When I came, I saw this a couple of days ago. There was a worm right on top here. Right on top here. And he was trying to eat his way through this material. You see this, they don't play. 
these insects don't play at all see this is almost as big this was like smaller than this no this is almost as big he growing nice and big let them grow nice and big strong tell you the season is is just about over you know but I'm gonna get the most out of the garden before everything dries up. And next year I'm gonna be preparing for my new garden, which I'm gonna take over this whole space here. All right, with wood chips and stuff. I already uh, start laying down the, the uh, grass and the cut grass and leaves and branches below. And you can see my moringa tree there. You can see it? You see how tall it is? And it's flowering too. So it, I might get some fruit before the year is up. Yep, it is flowing. Check it out. See that flowers up there? Get a good look at the flowers. This is moringa flowers, right? Yeah, yeah. Be able to zoom in there. That's great. And zoom out. All right. That's my moringa tree. Look it up. It's an awesome tree. It has all most of the nutrients that your body needs vitamins minerals they say almost 95 percent of what your body needs to stay healthy that tree produces it the bark of the tree can be used as an antiseptic the seeds when they get you know they get full you can take eat it and stuff it's also good for your body cleaning out clean yourself out on stuff regulate your system yeah the the leaves you can cook the leaves i'm telling you when and when the fruit is young you can take it and curry it up cut it up curry it tastes really good yeah well, this is farmer eddie and you can see my right now it's a little too wet now so i was waiting for my sunflower plants to uh to dry up yeah they're drying up but they're also so wet on top is that I think there's a fungal growth going on there. Well, maybe I probably have to plant a little earlier next year. So when, so during the summer, it's gonna dry up, fill up, dry up, full up and dry. You know, get to the state where it is um, is all mature. Let the flower be mature, and then I can leave it to dry in the sun. Not have to worry about the rain. So I probably have to plant a lot earlier next year. Again, this is Farmer Eddie saying to you shalom goodbye have a great evening all right don't forget to like subscribe and share okay thank you very much